3. Interview with Annabeth Chase, daughter of Athena. If you could design a new structure for Camp Half-Blood, what would it be? Annabeth. I'm glad you asked. We seriously need a temple. Here we are, children of Greek gods, and we don't even have a monument to our parents. I'd put it on the hill just south of Half-Blood Hill, and I'd design it so that every morning the rising sun would shine through its windows and make a different god's emblem on the floor. Like one day an eagle, the next an owl. It would have been statues for all the gods, of course, and gold braziers for burnt offerings. I design it with perfect acoustics, like Carnegie Hall, so we could have lyre and reed pipe concerts there. I could go on and on, but you probably get the idea. Chiron says we'd have to sell four million truckloads of strawberries to pay for a project like that, but I think it'd be worth it. Aside from your mom, who do you think is the wisest god or goddess on the Olympian Council? Wow, um, let me think. Um, the thing is, the Olympians aren't exactly known for wisdom, and I mean that with the greatest possible respect. Zeus is wise in his own way. I mean, he's kept the family together for 4,000 years, and that's not easy. Hermes is clever. He even fooled Apollo once by stealing his cattle. And Apollo is no slouch. I've always admired Artemis, too. She doesn't compromise her beliefs. She just does her own thing and doesn't spend a lot of time arguing with the other gods on the council. She spends more time in the mortal world than most gods, too, so she understands what's going on. She doesn't understand guys, though. I guess nobody's perfect. Of all your Camp Half-Blood friends, who would you most like to have with you in battle? Oh, Percy. No contest. I mean, sure he can be annoying, but he's dependable. He's brave, and he's a good fighter. Normally, as long as I'm telling him what to do, he wins in a fight. You've been known to call Percy Seaweed Brain from time to time. What is his most annoying quality? Well, I don't call him that because he's so bright, do I? I mean, he's not dumb. He's actually pretty intelligent. But he acts dumb so, sometimes. I wonder if he does it just to annoy me. That guy has a lot going for him. He's courageous, he's got a sense of humor, he's good looking. But don't you dare tell him I said that. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So he's got a lot going for him, but he's so obtuse. That's the word. I mean, he doesn't see really obvious stuff, like the way people feel even when you're giving him hints and being totally blatant. What? No, I'm not talking about anyone or anything in particular. I'm just making a general statement. Why does everyone think, ugh, forget it.